Hey guys, welcome back to some more StarCraft 2, and here's for the uh, mission that really sucks. <laughs> now, friend Raynor, you must see the Overmind's vision of the future. The end of my people, and of all things. This is our fate, should Kerrigan die. Alrighty, let's go. I don't think I want to see any vision of the Overminds. But if Kerrigan's involved, I need to know. On a distant shadowed world, the Protoss will make their final stand. Their heroes will gather. Their forces will be marshaled, and they will die. Bravely, but still, they will die. And my Zerg will be slaves to the hybrid. All will bow before the power of the fallen one. Okay, uh, so I have a couple pieces of advice for you. Uh, advice for you. Um, first of all, um, since you are playing on brutal, as far as I know, um, you cannot change the you cannot change the DM speed off fastest uh, or faster, or whatever they call it, or just fast. Um, so no matter what, you can't even slow it down to increase your reaction time. Kind of sucks. Protoss brethren, heed me. The last twilight has fallen. The galaxy burns around us. The Terrans have been consumed. We are all that stands against the Shadow. But if we are to meet our end this day, then we will do so as one! And Taro Tassinar! Okay, these guys are going to be one giant group. Oh, that guy's going to be in the group. He's going to go over here. Okay, and this should be generally enough probes, although you're going to want to probably produce a couple more. And get this dude over here to make a dark shrine. That We are doing a dark templar wall uh, to prevent them from getting in. You do not want to build more than this. Great one, the vault is prepared. Guard us while we preserve our knowledge for those that may follow. They must not make the mistakes we did. Yeah, they're going to anyways. Um, anyways, um, we're going to try and do it with the objective. This is actually fairly difficult. Um, I have tried many strategies. This is the best one. I'm also going to make it... Oops, no, 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 fuck that. No, no, I'm a gateway. Sorry. Waste a bit of money there. Oh, well. Uh, and you can also build a couple of observers just to get the... It going. I have rallied the last of our great fleet. Your timing is impeccable, Admiral Arun. When the enemy takes to the air, we will need your support. You can also do shield upgrades, although I'm not really going to bother with that now, I think. Um, maybe not this either. Uh, we can also do, start doing some phoenixes, though, because phoenixes are rather important. The Zerg perform their function as I planned. My hybrid are proof of this. Now, the last of the Protoss will fulfill their function in death. So basically, these little small little choke points, you want to go and make a Dark Templar wall. Uh, and that is extremely important at this point. Uh, I cannot stress this enough. Um, and you're gonna see, like, you know, there's the forces right here, and you go bring them up here. Go kill a bunch of them. And this is gonna be pretty much the running theme for this entire, entire game right here. Uh, don't worry about the photon cannons. Don't even concern yourself with most of this. Uh, uh we need to make that. We just need to get, uh, our Dark Templar wall going. Alright. The Zerg are swarming at our flanks. 
We have to react quickly or our perimeter defenses will fall. Generally you're just watching these right now, just to see what's going on. I will erase uh, as I said, we're not even going to bother to reinforce any of this because these are all going to die. Uh, I'm not. I'm going to like lie about it. You don't want to put it too much up. See right there. That's where they are. So we can go right here. Unfortunately, we do not have Chrono Boost. Oh, they killed that. And they don't have detection at this moment. There we go. It's really, there's no other way of doing this. Uh, it's really difficult. Oh, right here. There's a new one right there. And they also killed the Observer, so make sure you go replace that guy up here. Because that this is also a great indicator to tell you if there's a Overseer coming. Although it was a little too close to det detection that already existed. That's why it died. Oh. They're right now kind of slow. Alright. And let's go and lift up guys. Except I can. Uh, it's because they're in a different group. Oh, dear god, I'm losing them. Uh, I'm being kind of stupid. I necessarily just lost a bunch of units. Okay, we need to get the two Stargates producing units. And I'll put these as group number six. Uh, Zeratul can also be a part of, part of the uh, the walls. So I'm working on this one next. Oh, right up here. And there's a bunch of them right there. Oh, this is gonna really suck. Alright. The best thing we can do for now is just start lifting them up. Oh, go guys. I'm just gonna just lift them up. Yeah, they are taking a beating. Luckily, these, none of these guys are actually detectors. All we can do is uh, would you ask keep making DT walls. I'm detecting a large amount of Zerg activity in their hive clusters. Prepare for an assault. Uh, this is also a good indicator to see if uh, how well your wall is going to hold. This is like almost done. Yeah, you see, they can't get past, which is good. And these guys can just go right here. Unless I get these two guys out. Uh, okay. Bunch of guys here. Go bring your phoenixes over. Assuming that it doesn't just destroy everything you have. See, and they have basically no choice but to go really close to your DTs. Let me go really close. Oh my god, they are just destroying everything I have. Okay, they're kind of going crazy, so I can't do much about that. Yeah, they're attacking that. Now, why does it keep telling me? Oh, more DTs. I am just so fortunate that they do not have capabilities to take any of this out. And let's just have all these guys here. Yeah, see, they would have had two guys come in. There we go. And these guys can come up here. So, we, uh, although this is not really a DT wall right now, uh, this one kind of sucks. Okay, bring these guys over to take care of that. And there's also a lot of them taking out that crap. As I said, Kenan's not a big deal right now. Oh boy. That's a lot of guys. Where's Zeratul? Well, this is kind of a problem. Our boardways are ready to do their part. Disengage prison inhibitors and concentrate all batteries 
Mohandar. Well then, great Mohandar. Or Iron. Oh, great. Uh, just feed back these guys. Oh boy. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, he's just gonna go up there and he'll die. We'll use these guys right here for now. And at this moment, we just need to finish up this wall right here. Now, it now here's my my second tip: save all the time, every minute. Just go back if if uh, you need to. That's that's basically it. There's no reason for you not to. Because at this point, uh, if you make a mistake, uh, you want it to be kind of undoable. Uh, and this one will do two observers. Okay. And we bring all our guys here. You can do a bunch of things, but generally you just want to be watching that minimap. Because if they have an overseer, they will destroy your DT walls. Right now, this is pretty much our saving grace, is the DT walls. Alright, let's see if Zeratul can get past. Looks like he's confused, which is a good sign. The Void Rays I also like to bring down here. Uh, okay, they may have one here. There we go. Target it. A good idea also might be for me to start doing these upgrades. Okay, anyways, and now they're basically defenseless. They cannot see it. And I need to go make a hell of a lot more of those guys. We don't even need DTs anymore. We're good now. Alright, just double check this. Okay, we don't need to be here. Let's get out of here. Oh, no, no, that's not good. Fortunately, they're all going to like destroy everything I have. Oh, boy. Okay. Unfortunately, this is uh, kind of becoming problematic. Uh, i got to put these guys into the air group. I'm very fortunate, though, so far, because they don't seem to have any kind of defense. Uh... Because right now I haven't been totally watching, and I'm actually really happy that uh, they actually haven't sent anything my way like that. A little bit down. But that's generally what you're watching for, is you're just watching for observers dying. Because that means you need to go there right away and uh, stop them from killing your, your all your crap. And that way you can save this, uh, which I didn't actually think was possible uh, when I first did this without that. That's why you have a few spare spare units, and uh, I guess you're good to go. That's basically it. Uh, one of the things you can also do is you can start making like a whole photon cannon wall, um, like this. Just kind of watching. I think it gives you enough. This is this is mostly just if you just get back that far. You got a lot of money. Yeah, this just uh, is what you have to be careful of. Oh no, they're coming for us. Uh, hopefully that they won't kill that thing because I have much less units than I had earlier. This is the hour of truth, noble temple. Let the enemy the wrath of Iron's champions. Executor Salendus, unleash the full power of your forces. There may be no tomorrow. We're keeping her up here. Intaro Tassadar, Zarato. They will erase the demons of the past. Because at this very moment, we don't really want to have her in the group like that. Okay, we got one here. Just be ready to take it out. Yep, it's there. 
Oh. Run. That's it. They didn't run. That's all you want to do. And we also want to move this guy back here. This would not be possible. I'm telling you that, guys, right now. Uh, what I did was I, I just fell back to the, the top there, and that was basically it. Uh, that was what I did with my first run of this. Believe me, it's just not pretty. It's very lucky that they kind of stay there for a second and allow you to kind of... They give you a chance, basically, to win. Alright, let's save it again. Eventually we will fall back, but that's when this thing is done. Because that, at that point it's basically invincible. Just make sure there's nothing here. And there's absolutely nothing they can do. Oh, let's get shields. Uh, we're going for that guy first. Damn it, didn't get taken out. We gotta, we gotta run here, though. No, don't kill that guy. Yeah, this is the one problem. Oh, dear God. No, don't don't kill it. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, guess what you do? Load. <laughs> Honestly, it's, it's, it's tough, but, uh... As I said, you don't you don't really need all the Protoss researches. I just was gonna I, I want to try really hard. And I, I managed to do it on my run, as I said. Uh, so let's get ready to take these guys out. Oh you know what? Carrier should be right here. Oh that that was my stupid mistake. Oh wait, wait. When did I save this? Oh no, I, s I saved it recently. Alright. Go for this first. The final hour. Okay, run. Okay, let's run into this. Okay, get all those guys, because the Broodlords really suck. We need to jump down here for a second. Here he is, right there. Run. And we need to keep building more and more phoenixes. And this is... Oh my god. I, I'm telling you guys, it's tough. So I managed those ones, so I'm going to save it here. And you know, you don't even need void rays. Don't even bother with void rays. Now, I'm hoping that I don't actually have to make any more DTs. Uh, I'm hoping I can just bring him down and cover this ramp later. Um, I'm not sure if that will be doable. I'm going to have to give it a couple of tries just to see when they come down. If they're going to, you know, screw me up. Uh, attacks. Oh, level 3 shields and level 3 weapons. No, it's level 2. Sorry. I need to do the first one. Zero action. So, we're supposed to kill, like, a lot of enemies. Oh, wait, crap, we don't have an observer down there. Which means if they come down right now, I'm dead. As I was your beginning, so shall I be your Okay, we're fortunate because in this situation they don't actually, uh... This is, like, the, the most least threatening uh, part of the game. This is basically for you to have a break. You know, check out your bases, uh, you know, Ice Dark Trine, etc. Uh, too many. Because all they're going to do is they're going to send Zerglings in, and since you have DTs, DTs just rape everything. Very good so far. Look at it, only three minutes left on that thing. And shields are up on the archive. So you can make a variation of this strategy, I just found this worked the best for me. Alright, move these guys back. It shouldn't even be moved up in the first place. Alright. It's just, it's just a whole lot of paying attention. 
Which, you know. Oh. Well, they actually have that. Unless there's like some kind of brood, brood lord or whatever. And that's, that's the great thing about having that many items. Okay, we need more pylons. Oh, where's my pro that isn't doing it? Okay, wait. Right there. Run. There you go. And they're going to come right into the middle here to try and d attack this guy. And they will fail. Uh, kind of worried. I'm going to assume this one. This one looks far more threatening. Nope, well, there's nothing here. Alright, let me just save it just in case. Nope, nothing came. Okay. I was a little worried about that because I saw that there at the last minute. Oh, these guys need to, like, do this some more. And that will, guy will die. Oh, how I love DTs so much. I think everyone loves DTs. And now I'm on level 3 for these things. So then you can get some uh, air armor. You can do whatever you want. Alright. Let me go get the probe. Proby the probe. To make some more pylons for me. And some more cannons, actually. Uh, okay, we're good. We're good for now, and it looks like the research is going to end. But I cannot rely on this right now to to finish up on me in a good amount of time. So, usually it, the carriers you can just put on this platform right here. Uh, okay, let me go out and get our probe to go remake some stuff. Oh, he's stuck. Dumb probe. All right. You have no place to hide and nowhere to run. I don't think there's anything here. Nobody's there. And fortunately for me, I have all those things there. And this guy's about this guy's done. Look at that. Just total destruction. Alright, come on down, guys. Now, this is the well, final and last problem, which is I need to get DTs down here and in a wall straight away. So let's try this out. Good. We have to do this fast. Because we have no reason to defend the middle anymore, so let's not even bother. Uh. Okay. Well, that one's done. Unfortunately, they're gonna have this thing go- oh, okay, we didn't do it. No, we didn't do it in time. They split it up like jerks. Um, and that's why when you run into that situation you have to basically save back and you gotta you gotta re strategize. You either split your forces to take care of both of them, or have them close to one of the ones where you know they're gonna come from. So I'm I'm pretty sure I can do this in time. Let's go get this guy. We're gonna get this one right now. Alright, and. Look at that, there's like 10 of these. Eight, and I got a bunch of them. Okay, we can probably defend this once we bring these guys over. Because the big ones aren't really streaming through. I was very kind of fortunate in that in that in those regards. Okay, and let's get some more of these guys up. And that's what I mean. Like you, you don't have to build more DTs. You just have to 
get figure out how to get there there them there in time. And you have a few backups too. Which is kinda nice. Okay, just put them over here. And now I am extremely happy. Alright. That's basically the hardest part and uh the easier part which is now, which is basically just uh, you know, figuring out when they're coming and from where. Because they all come from like one direction. They will never spawn with overseers unless it's like kind of like this kind of crap. And you just keep spawning things like this. Oh, I don't know what we're, what we're doing with these guys. They can just like hang out here. And you put them like right here. Now, it, it becomes a problem when these brood lords come out, but you, it's they don't see the uh, they don't see the dark templar, so it's actually okay. We don't really care that much. You just take them out. That's why we prefer phoenixes because they don't get distracted by units we don't care about. And I'm not actually going for uh, you know. Don't go there. You dicks. You're gonna die. Good job. My brethren, hear me. But there is little time left. All that remains of our race, our civilization, are those that stand beside you now. Trust me. Strike as one will. Let our last stand burn the memory so bright, we will be remembered forever. And Taro Tassadar! Okay, we're good. Oh, another one. Oh, shit. for now in kill counts. Alright, uh, we're basically we're basically done. We win. Um, so, you know what? I don't have to do it. Um, I don't think I will because it's just really prolonging it. Well, you know what? No, no, no. We'll, we'll see how long I can... Well, technically, you know, te I can go for a really long time. I don't, I don't really want it right now. So, let him in. We win. There's an achievement to get uh, an additional 700 and whatever kills. Uh, and you can do whatever you want. Um, with this strategy, you can get a you can get really far. Uh, I know they're dying. Stupid Dark Templars. So we're just gonna we're gonna just let them go. Hey, Vortex. Oh yeah, did, did they, is is the mothership speed increased? Yeah, just let them do this thing. Everyone into the wormhole. The thing is, I'm not fond of this level, so me finishing it makes me really happy. So, we've already done everything, uh, so, oh my god, they're coming. Look how much money I have, I have a lot of money. And, uh, here, let me show you guys something briefly here. Check out this. There's a high yield area here. Um, and I'm going to mention to you right now, don't even bother with it. There is, uh, you know, maybe on an easy difficulty you'll be able to take that over and just, like, you know, chill out here. Um, generally, you're going to have a lot of trouble with that. So don't even bother. It's not worth taking. Now take out these guys, because they'll kill you faster. And as the heroes die, they'll say, like, epic final lines, because this always takes a little while for them to die. As I said, if I had the DT wall up, I'd be able to last a hell of a long time. If only we had acted sooner. And Zeratul died. It's not my fault. They will. They will still take. They will still take their sweet time in, in death. So, luckily, I have that. And I'm happy about that. And there's these guys. And that's basically the end. We just now watch ourselves get crushed. We 
We and we're running out of resources too. But you know, I'm really looking forward to getting back to the turn mission. We have so many upgrades, loads of upgrades to do. I think we're I think we're gonna finish the Zerg tree actually with this. I don't know, we'll see. Ah, uh -huh. let's bring these guys up. I don't know. I can't graviton these. Oh they're they're massive, whoops. I don't know why why I was thinking I could do that. No, don't kill my next eye. Probes, go! Final attack! No! No probes! Well, that's the end of that, pretty much. And don't worry if they kill... There, by the way, there's, there's no strategies where you can survive, survive in the air, because the game actually is specifically designed to make it so that your air units all get wiped out. Yay! Wow, that's a lot of guys. And that will be basically it. Dude, Arten Artenis is in a mothership. That's pretty badass. And although, that doesn't sound like his voice. If you notice that Tassar didn't sound like his voice either. They got like new voice actors or something. Duck into it. Duck into the wormhole. They'll never find us in there. Oh, the mothership isn't affected. They'll never be able to take us out. And a, an airwave designed just to take us out is about to come in. I don't know why we haven't seen them yet. Oh, there we go. Ton of mutas. Bunch of overseers. Another war another vortex. Aha. Why is this taking so long for them to kill me? Oh, these guys do it. They have like their void blast, which will destroy air. No, run away. Aha, they have to take them out. Dude, did I just really take them all out? Oh no, I don't think I did. Okay, good. They're, they're, they're very pathetic when they're trying to kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't really purposely die. Oh, there we go. There's the there's the air wave. Oh, the, watch me have enough to take this out. You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> I'm trying to lose here. Jeez. Oh well, I'll just take them out one by one just for fun. I, I swear, they're, they're supposed to have like a trigger that's supposed to handle this. No, don't destroy our stuff. Uh, maybe it's just, just a repeating trigger, I don't know. Well, you're a jerk, so... Oh, there we go. Goodbye, Slendus. We'll miss you. Yeah, that was your airwave. It was repeating, I'm guessing. It just gets bigger and bigger. They, they quote so many things. Alright, and uh, you see all you'd have to do is kill 750 additional Zerg. How much did I kill? Eh, about 250 almost. Yeah, just over 250. As I said, I just got rid of my D2 wall and that took like about half an hour. Uh, it's ridiculous. Which is why I was like, I'm not gonna do the D2 wall, because I could keep saving and going back and, and getting like a lot of kills, because it really is that kind of reliable of a strategy, but 
it would just take forever. I don't know how far you can really get. I'm actually, I'm actually curious how far someone has gotten with that strategy, but it's the best one by far. Friend Raynor, you now bear witness to the truth. There is a malevolent presence within the void that seeks to destroy everything we hold dear. Could this fallen one be as El Naga? After so long, could the gods themselves seek our destruction? And Kerrigan. I can hardly believe the wretched Queen of Blades will prevent the destruction of all that we know. Raynor, you may soon hold Kerrigan's fate in your hands. I know only that she must live. Be wary, old friend. The Hounds of the Void are on the hunt. That's a good time to start drinking. Damn, brother. You look like you could use a drink. I saw the last vision Zeratul put into the crystal. It was a look into the future. Final battle against the hybrid. I'm getting... Somehow, Kerrigan's the key to preventing it. Who knows how the wheel turns? Cycles upon cycles. This much I know. Those that see the future best take heed. It's both a gift and a curse. But is it cast in stone? That's what I need to know. Who knows? I've heard you say we are who we choose to be. If that be true, the future cannot be fixed. Ah, oh, we have so many new research projects. Hankering for some down home cooking out there in the space lanes? Come on down to Bubba's Gas and Grub. We got two for Tuesdays, featuring barbecue muta wings. Also, free plasma charge with each villa. Bubba's Gas and Grub. Your space trucker home away from home. Space trucker. Uh, alright, well, we're supposed to visit the lab. It's very insistent that I do that. You're looking a little pale there, Jimmy. What you need is another drink. <laughs> ah, sweet home Alabama. You look shaken, sir. What's wrong? Zeratul called it a vision of the future. It was the end times, Matt. Armageddon. More Protoss than we ever knew existed. But there still weren't enough to stop the hybrid. But what about Kerrigan? Wasn't she supposed to stop them? In this timeline, she was dead. Killed by... us. That's what Zeratul's been trying to tell us all along. She has to live, or we're all doomed. Alright. Eh, are we? Sure, why not? Actually, no, we'll, uh... I'll stop by the lab first. Sir. Yeah. yeah I know this new development. Okay, here's the change to the crystal, and the Zerg tank is fully matured now. That's nice. Alright, research console. So, we get 10,000 credits per bonus thing that we get. Oh, 20,000, that's actually really good, I think. I think that's what I wanted. Um, but anyways, uh, well, like, of course I wanted money, but... I don't know if that gets me the research I want to get, to get in the armory. Okay, so you get a choice between the Hive Mind Emulator, which is um, you bring individual units to your uh, control. So long recharge may be required until the next target can be controlled. Okay, or you get uh, the Side Disruptor, which is, um, it just slows down Zerg. Um, you know, it's t the both of them are, are actually pretty balanced, but this actually gives you an inter some interesting opportunities, while this is just like, it just slightly helps you. So I would actually go for this. Because uh, that's, this one, you, you get a couple of nice options. 
In this one, you get the science vessel, which is uh, detects cloaks and cloak. Well, it's a detector, much like the Raven. It can irradiate, and it can repair other mechanical units. This is probably the best thing you could possibly get. It is so good because that means you get like a mech army with like, like lots of healing, and that's why we got this. So we get like lots of healing off the bat, anyways. The Raven is kind of nice, but you know nobody really uses it in Malay as well because it's just not that great of a of a unit, to be honest. Um, its abilities are very situational kind of a thing, but this one's just useful all throughout the campaign. So definitely, definitely, definitely take this one. Uh, let's see how much money I have. Uh, credits I cannot see. Oh no, I did. See, it's in the corner there. Oh good, so good. Well, what the hell, cowboy? You look like crap. You been thinking about that girl again? Kinda. I just got some bad news about what might happen if we can't save her. Ah, no use worrying about what might happen, if you ask me. You want me to help, you just let me know. Alright, Army Console. And so we got a couple of new upgrades for base, because we did more missions. And this is what we got is this, and this is the best thing. So first of all, you can get a fire suppression system, which means uh, structures no longer burn down. Uh, they simply put themselves out, and they can repair themselves up to 50% uh, health, which is awesome. But this is even better. You get scanner sweep, mules, and all all the stuff, for, all the fun stuff from the campaign. And I just barely saved up for this. Uh, this is what one of the things I was waiting for because this is like the best thing to get your to get your base economy going. It's so good. Oh oh what oh dark templars oh no go rape them. Wow they're really slow. Where's the fire suppression system? Okay, anyways. Yes, 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 get that. And now we're basically up to nothing in money, which is uh, absolutely great. Uh, I don't think the cantina has any uh, additional things in the corners that I can see. No, it doesn't look like it. So we'll just uh, head back to the bridge, and uh, that was a tough one, but we finally managed it. So you guys all have a good one. See you later.